Hey guys, it's Brian with PS4 Trophies, and this is our final part of the Wolfenstein Collectible Guide. Hopefully you guys have hit that like button on this video and the previous ones. Uh, if not, feel free to go back and do it. It only takes about 10-15 seconds, but uh, in any case, enjoy this video. And the first gold cane is going to be after the checkpoint. You're going to go through this luggage area, and uh, you're going to have this uh, gold cane right there. And then the next one is going to be a little further ahead. And it's going to be in a room where there previously was a commander. And now you go through this door, and it's going to be in the room here just to the left. And it'll be sitting right on the crapper. Probably a good place to read something such as this. And then we're going to move just ahead a little bit. And uh, it's going to be in this uh, kind of lab area. And it's going to be sitting right on a shelf, on a bottom shelf. And then once you've grabbed that, you're going to go to the next area. There's going to be two more commanders in here, as well as two collectibles. And now the first one, the gold mask, is going to be in this uh, medical bay area. And it's going to be sitting right on this cart. And then after you've grabbed that, you're going to go up to the second story. And you're going to have to go through these rooms in the back. And you're going to find this letter in the second room. So here's the first one, and it'll be right back here, sitting right on the desk. And now we're gonna just pass that, go through this little area, this tunnel thing, duct work, drop down, and it's gonna be in, this, uh, in the next room that you enter, and it'll be just to the right on the desk. Now after you've gotten this, you're gonna go outside, you're gonna put your space suit on, and then you see it here on the map, and it'll be just behind this rock down here. And you're going to find a gold meteor rock. I'd imagine a gold meteor rock is probably much more valuable than a regular meteor rock. But after we've got that, we're going to go back inside, take our space suit off. And then you're going to come to this area. And instead of kind of going to the right, just go to this room on the left that's, uh, with the yellow light. And then you'll find this right on the desk to the right. And then uh, further ahead, you're going to be in the, the big round area. And it's going to be up, up above you, kind of on the second floor. So just go up here, make a left, and make a, another left up this ramp. And it'll be just to the right. And then we got a couple more here. And uh, this is going to be towards the, the end of the level, I guess. And you're going to find this big uh, conference circular conference table. And you'll see it back here. And then uh, you'll have one more here right before leaving the, the level. There's going to be a train that you have to board. But before boarding that train, there's going to be a gold bottle that's going to be behind this red uh, bag right here on the floor. And that'll do it for Chapter 13. Moving on to Chapter 14. This is going to be... Uh, at the very kind of beginning, after you've crashed through this window, there's going to be a whole bunch of guys here that are going to try to kill you. But uh, if, right near the, uh, ent uh, the entry point is going to be the uh, Enigma. And then uh, when you leave this room, you're going to travel down some scaffolding, and you're going to run across some gold bangles. But you got to make sure you grab these before you use your, your laser cutter to cut the chain. And the chain you don't want to cut is right there. But first, grab that. And now you can go ahead and cut that chain. And then once you've uh, dropped out of there, you're going to go through this door here. And there's going to be two collectibles, an Enigma and a uh, gold football in the first room to the right. Now the Enigma is going to be right here on this table next to the projector. Now the gold football is going to be behind this secret hidden wall. So what you need to do is you need to turn this... Uh, this painting, or what used to be a painting maybe, and there's a gold football right up there. And for you Americans, that is a soccer ball. You and me, I say that you Americans as if I'm not one <laughs> as well, but uh, the next enigma is going to be in this area where you have to shoot the helicopter. And the helicopter is going to be out in that open area, but just to the left over here, among some rubble, is going to be the enigma code. And after you get that, we're going to drop down to the next level. There's three tiers to this, so this is the second one. And this is going to be in the far back, right there on the floor. And then we're gonna go ahead and drop down another level right before we get to the boss. 
You'll know it by all those monitors on the wall. And you're gonna find this in a filing cabinet. The filing cabinet's gonna be right back here. And that's it for chapter 14. Chapter 15, under attack, we're kind of back at the, uh, the headquarters here. There's just a couple of them. And uh, you're gonna find the first one in this room here. And then you're gonna find uh, Max's letter in Max's room, of course, which is right next door. Right there on the ground next to the bed. And that's it for chapter 15. The final chapter, chapter 16, is uh, the f gonna have uh, several collectibles in here. The first one is the swimming area. Just after you shoot the cannon, you're gonna uh, have to jump into the water here and uh, you'll find it right near the stairs where you have to climb up. And then after you climbed up the, uh, well, ladder rather, once you climb up the ladder, you're gonna make your way down this hallway and you need to go to the right, but before going to the right, at the very last cell here on the left, you're gonna find some gold armor. Now from th that area where we just picked up the gold armor, we're gonna go find an Enigma code and you're gonna travel out here and you're gonna have a fight with a whole bunch of guys. And I believe I've cleared most of them. Well, okay, maybe not all of them. But if you go to this back room, you're going to find the Enigma code right here in the filing cabinet. And then just further ahead, uh, the gold teapot. Uh, you're going to travel down these circular stairs and into this next area. And in here, you're going to find the gold teapot in the uh, garbage dumpster thing over here. Right in here. Pretty clever and well hidden collectible. And you can't uh, get any of these on the map, so that was a that's kind of a tough one to find. But the next enigma is going to be in the next big area where you have another big fight, the third major section, I guess. And the, this is going to be right in the on the bench in the center. So now that we got that, we got another enigma code we're going to go get. And uh, this is going to be in this, uh, this, this lab here. You'll recognize it once you're here. And you're going to find this by the x-rays. All right, the final collectible is during the first part of the final boss fights in this section. You can do it while you're fighting him, or you can wait until after you've uh, completed the first section here. But it's right here in this box. And that's it. That's the last collectible. And I want to thank you guys for watching. After you have gotten all the Enigma files, you can now attempt to crack the Enigma code. So if you go to the extras menu, you can go ahead and try to figure out the Enigma, Enigma codes. Uh, or you can watch any one of these videos in which I give you the solution. So thanks again, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe.